My name is Colby from StarlinkHardware.com, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up and install the Starlink Ridgeline Mount Kit. The kit contains everything you need, including the foldable mount, instructions, cable clips, a carrying bag for the Starlink dish, and four ballast weights. The weights will ship separately. They weigh about 13 pounds each for a total of around 50 pounds. Start by carrying just the mount up to the roof. Don't install the ballast weights yet. Keep it folded to make carrying it up the ladder a little easier. I was able to sort of sling it over my shoulder, which worked great. This mount is great because it is a non-penetrating roof mount. That means you don't need to drill any holes or permanently attach it. The ballast weights hold it down to the roof. It can be installed on pitched roofs like this one, and it can even fold flat for use on a flat roof. Once you are up on the roof, turn the knob on the mount counterclockwise to loosen and unfold it. You want to make sure that both sides are laying evenly across the ridge line. Also check that both sides are laying completely flat on the roof surface. Once it's in place, adjust the mounting post so that it's within five degrees of vertical. You might need to loosen the knob a bit more to allow the mounting post to rotate. And once you have it, everything in where you want it in place, tighten it down by rotating the knob clockwise. Next, carry the ballasts up to the roof. They are pretty heavy, so carry them up the ladder one at a time. I'll go ahead and speed the rest of this process up for you, but as you can see, I'm placing them on the roof one at a time. Now you can install the ballasts into the mount. There is a notch on the ballast that is supposed to align with a tab on the mount. So you simply slide each weight at an angle from the top of the mount downward until it locks into place. It's not going to click and securely lock, it's just going to be held in place with that little notch. Toward the back of the weight holders, there is a cutout that allows you to easily lift the weights back out if you ever need to move them out in the future. Go ahead and repeat this for the other three weights. It's important to note that you have to use all four weights when using this mount. You can't just install, you know, two or three. I'll go ahead and speed the rest of this up for you. After all four weights are installed, just double check to make sure that nothing has shifted around. Check that the mounting post is still vertical and that each side of the mount is laying completely flat against the roof. Now you're ready to install the Starlink dish. The Ridgeline mounting kit includes a carrying bag for the dish. This makes carrying it up the ladder much easier. Load the dish into the bag and then tighten down the drawstring and then go ahead and sling the bag over your shoulder and climb up the ladder. Before snapping the dish into the mount, connect the Starlink cable. In most cases, you'll be routing the cable from inside of your home to outside, through the wall, and up the roof. The connector is smaller on the dish side, so start by routing that in from inside to outside your home, and then go ahead and route it up to the mounting location. Plug the Starlink cable into the dish, making sure that it is fully seated. There is a guide piece on the mount that will slide into the cutout you see here in the dish mast. It only slides in one way. You should hear a click as the dish locks into place. Double check that the cable connection it hasn't come loose. And that's all there is to it. Go ahead back to your Starlink router and plug everything back in. Give it a few minutes to boot up, connect to satellites, and then check the Starlink app to make sure that you're online and that you're connected to the internet. The dish will collect obstruction data for the next 12 hours, so leave it overnight 
and check back in the morning to make sure you don't have any significant obstructions. You can check all this in the Starlink app on the statistics and the obstruction checker tool. Thank you for watching. Head to StarlinkHardware.com for more Starlink related content, including news, information, and more tutorials. And be sure to sign up for our newsletter so you don't miss out on any of our latest content or Starlink news.